Dangler. Center back over on that right hand side. He's able to give it away. Here comes Otieno to the top to Sterling! And Tormenta, just two minutes into the game, have taken the lead. Go for Tormenta FC, scored by number nine. Dangler Desire. is able to get this one out to Otieno. Assisted by number 55, Tobias. And Otieno drives Otieno. into the 18, finds the open pocket, and Sterling with enough power to get it through the hands of Peña Runda. Made them unpracticeable earlier in the week, which meant they got to practice on that new stadium. Wasn't exactly in the plans to do so, but I guess they can reap the benefits of that. As this one is in the open field, no goalie. Sterling shoots, and it's 2-1. A mishap turns into a second goal and a brace for Kazaya Sterling. Here's a look at it again on the Coca-Cola replay. Sierkowski makes the run. And Pena Runda just doesn't handle that one nicely. You could see the frustration on the back line. And he said, but in that match, really liked, for the most part, the direction of the team's performance. As Sierkowski plays it across the middle, Sterling looking for the hat trick, but a goal line clearance, courtesy of Leo Fola, the substitute. It's Sterling on Pena Runda. It would be the first hat trick this season for Tormenta. Sterling stutters and finishes. Blasts it through the roof. It's 3-1 Tormenta. And Kazaya Sterling with a hattie on the night. The goal brought to you by Savannah Hilton Head Airport. That's Peña Ronda to pick a side, and he goes straight down the middle, straight up top. And as it rolls down the back wall of the goal, and I believe it was in that wild Tormenta game, or in a wild Fort Lauderdale game, as Akale breaks down the pitch. He's got Sterling again. Sterling could break the Tormenta record. Sterling shoots, and it's well off the mark.